Great afternoon, kings and queens of Father's Glorious Nation. Today, we'll be speaking on the subject of divine acceptance and learning to humbly receive all that is divinely in the right hours to be received. Now, I'll speak that in the sense of saying that at times, we become so humble and so set in our humility or so set in being humble that we block our own blessings. We block our own opportunities. Like we get we get in the sense of this tunnel vision where we want to focus on this one aspect. Like, you know what? This is what Father set in my heart. And this is what I feel. This is the path that I think Father needs for me to take. So this is exactly what I'm focused on. This is what I'm, a, this is it. And we fail to realize, we fail to understand that or rather, at times we fail to realize, or at times we fail to understand that God works through people too. Sometimes we, we, we get so focused on the process of, I just want to do it this way, I want to do it my way, this is the way that I need to do it, that we fail to realize that, that, that God may need some other people to help you elevate that process. Sometimes some projects are not a one-man project. It's not a one-woman project. Sometimes some projects require other individuals of God's glory to be able to step in and assist you not because sometimes not because you need the assistance just because you need the experience just because you need that experience of being around these other individuals so y'all can share in that energy so y'all can share in the positive glory of God so that y'all can praise God together as y'all build your projects together you never know what connections you could be missing with with particular individuals you never know what you could be blocking so therefore we ask that you 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 Humbly discern the Spirit of God within each opportunity that is presented to you. Meaning, the next time someone presents you with an opportunity, if you feel in your heart that it's something connected to what God has already spoken to you, move forward with it. And if it's, not, if it's something that's not for you, God will tell you. You already know God will tell you. You've already experienced certain aspects where you've pushed through things. And every time you push and push and push, you've been hit with a brock block with, with a brick wall. And that was God's way of blocking you. So, to, so look at every single opportunity this way. If it ain't for me, God will block it. So therefore, take every opportunity like it's your potential last opportunity. Take, op take every opportunity as a God-given opportunity. And understand that if it is not God-given, God will not allow you to get it. So I speak that to say, and I will use an example. I will use an example to kind of give more reference to that. I will, I will use seasons as an example. I will use seasons because everything happens within its own season. Excuse me, it was a fly. Everything will happen within its own season. So I'll begin with the season of summer. In the season of summer, everything is vibrant. Everything is glowing. Everything is shining. The birds are chirping. The sun is shining. A little bit too hot sometimes, but you jump off in the pool and everything cool again. In the summer, everything is, is, is just vibrant. It's like the entire world comes to life. It's like everything comes to life. Everything is, is, is glowing, blossoming. It's like everything that every single blessing that you've wished to see manifest or every single blessing that was divinely in the right yours to be received within that time, you will see manifested within the, within the season of summer. You will see all of God's glory begin to blossom within everything in the season of summer. Now, fast forwarding to the season of fall. In the season of fall, autumn you begin to see things fall away you begin to see change henceforth the reason you see uh henceforth the re henceforth the reason you see the change on the on the trees from orange to yellow all different beautiful colors but henceforth but it's still changed it's still the seasons are changing changing the air is more brisk it's not as warm and vibrant it has a little bit more chills to there sometimes depending on what area depending on what area you're in i know in in alabama it's just you get all four seasons throughout the entire week or throughout the entire day. But anyway, in the season of fall is where is a season of change. You begin to see things fall away. You begin to see you begin to see things rem being removed from your life or you begin to see the process of that removal of things from your life, be it a job, a person, uh, a thing. It could be either positive change or it could be either negative change, but in the season of fall you begin to see change. Now fast forwarding to winter, the season of winter, that's when everything is dead. There's nothing really growing in the season of winter. There's no environment in which anything can truly grow. So in the season of winter, that's that season where you've pretty much come to terms with all the change that has come. You've come to terms or you're growing through the terms of what God has already determined within your life for that point. You've come to terms or you're coming to terms, you're growing through everything 
that you've now been removed from. It's like you, you feel empty, but you also feel full. It's like you feel empty, but these voids are no longer feeling as, as gnawing and, caught and, and, and grating at your soul. You begin to feel a sense of 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 numbness, but in a in a in a in a in a positive aspect. You feel numb because you feel numb because you feel nothing. But you feel but you feel nothing because everything that you once felt was once felt was negative. But now that all of the negative has been removed, you're numb because you're learning how to remain. You're learning how to grow and become positive again, which brings us to the season of spring. In the season of spring, you begin to see things blossom. You begin you begin to see things come to life. You you you. you they, 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 you begin to see things coming to life, but not completely yet. It's like you kind of see things begin to kind of warm up to things. You begin, you kind of see those little seeds start to kind of crack open and up. And within you spiritually, this means that you've come to terms with all the change that you've gone through. You, you've, you've overgrown the death of the previous you, or you've overgrown the death of, of a relationship, of, of an aspect, of, a, of a, any other habit or anything. You've, you've overgrown. You've now come into an entirely new individual. You're now in the season of spring. You're seeing a new part of you spring forth. You're now seeing you're now growing and learning. You got your smile back, you got your laugh back, you got your giggle back, your chuckle, your rosy cheeks back. You're beginning to get you're beginning to get your life back. You're beginning to feel yourself blossom. You're beginning to feel that energy course back through you. You're beginning to to, to just feel again. And here we are full circle back to summer. Every single thing that you've gone through, every single trial and tribulation that you've grown through, you are now vasting in the glory to understand it, and to understand that you are coming up on a year of everything that you once knew and everything that is now changed in your life, and you're beginning to see just how much you can grow. Maybe not in short term, but in the long term. And sometimes it's not about the short term. Sometimes we have to take our mind off the focus of the short term and understand that life is a long, is a long run. It's a, it's, it's, it's a marathon. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So, under, so take life as the marathon that it is versus a sprint. And that brings us to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 9, 11. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in his time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. So from beginning to end, you cannot fathom the amount of change that God can bring into your life. From beginning to end, you cannot fathom the amount of glory that he can manifest into your life. So continue to push forward, continue to push with the faith and glory of God that you have in your heart. Because all is always well. We are in the season of spring, and we already know that everything that we, we wish to see spring will spring forth. And understand that the season of spring has just begun. That means that the season of your blessings has just begun. Have faith, keep hope, all is always well. And we pray that y'all both we pray that y'all both receive this and claim this. We pray that y'all take it in your heart and your soul and allow it to blossom and use it to fortify that energy of determination and focus. Because you got this. You got this. And we both pray and claim for each and every single one of you a divinely God willed and God filled day. Y'all have a blessed one.